All right, so we are going to go over the three practice problems from chapter number one. Each chapter will have a separate screencast on how to do each practice problem. These practice problems you will see on the Culinary Math Dual Credit exam. Um, if you are confused in any way, just go through the, the steps with me. If you want to uh, already have them answered and then just check for accuracy, you can do it that way too, so whatever works for you. So problem number one, as you purchase eight pounds of plum tomatoes. You use three and a half pounds for a tomato and basil soup you are serving. The question here is what percent of the tomatoes that you purchased do you have left? Before you can calculate that, you need to figure out a couple of other things first using information from chapter one and the different steps. So step one, you're gonna subtract the amount of tomatoes used, three and a half pounds from the total amount purchased, which was eight pounds. So eight subtracted by three and a half pounds gives you a remainder of four and a half pounds left of tomatoes. But again, you need to convert that to percent. Before you convert it to percent, you have to put that into the different types of fractions we talked about. So four and a half pounds is a mixed number because four is a whole number combined with one half, which is a proper fraction. So it is now four and a half pounds is a mixed number. So before you can convert that to a percent, you need to convert four and a half pounds to an improper fraction. So you can go back to the slide about how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, or you can follow along with me here. So four, which is your whole number from this fraction, you're gonna multiply by your denominator of two from that same mixed number, four times two equals eight, okay? You're gonna add that result, eight, to your numerator from that mixed number, which was one, and it gives you the result of nine. You're gonna put that over your same original denominator from the mixed number, so your improper fraction is nine over two. So four and a half pounds converts to nine over two. Now, you can calculate the percent, so the remaining amount, <clears throat> nine over two, divided by the total amount, which was eight pounds, which gives you 100. So you wanna multiply nine over two by eight, but you can't because eight is not a fraction. So you're gonna make that a fraction, nine over two times one eighth, um, eight pounds becomes one eighth because you're gonna carry over that numerator and multiply by 100. But again, nine over two and one eighth do not multiply because the denominators do not match. So you need to make the denominators match. So to do that, you get nine sixteen. So you do nine divided by 16 times 100 and you're gonna get 56.25%. That is your answer. So the percent of tomatoes that you purchased you have left, 56.25%. You're not gonna round up, you're gonna leave it with its exact decimal as a percent. So 56.25%. If you have any questions, reference the steps or ask your teacher for clarification. So next we're gonna go over chapter one, problem two. Hmm. All right, here we go. Um, in this situation, we have muffins. So you make a variety of muffins for a brunch you are catering. You make six corn, six blueberry, 12 oat bran with raisins, and 12 apple nut. If you need to make eight dozen in all, what percent of the muffins do you still have to make? So again, you can't answer that question until you do some, invert some calculations prior. So step one is you're gonna find the total number of muffins you need to make eight dozen. So here it said, if you need eight dozen in all, what percent do you still have to make? Well, first you need to know how much is an eight dozen. So you're gonna take your total number of muffins, well, eight dozen, there's 12 in a dozen, so eight times 12. So you need a total of 96 muffins, okay? So now in step two, you're gonna calculate the number of muffins you already have. So you have six corn, six blueberry, 12 oat bran with raisin, and 12 apple nut. When you add them all together, you have 36 total muffins. So now you're gonna calculate your percent. So you're gonna take the number of muffins remaining divided by the total number of muffins times 100. So you need 96 muffins <clears throat> minus 90, 36, because that's how many you have made, and it gives you 60 remaining muffins to make. So 60 divided by 96 times 100, you still need to be to make 62.5% of muffins still need to be made. So what percent of the muffins do you still have to make? 62.5%. Again, you're not gonna round up, you're gonna leave it as a decimal. Again, if you have questions, 
reference the slides, ask your teacher, talk to your other classmates. Problem number three, you purchase six dozen roses for $312 to decorate your cafe for Valentine's Day. You are given a discount and save 13%. What is the dollar amount of your discount? So to answer these, you're gonna go back and look at how to do the percentages or you can follow along with me here. So step one, calculate the total cost of the roses before the discount. So you purchase six dozen roses. Um, so six for six dozen times 12, because there's 12 in a dozen, so you purchase 72 total roses. The cost for the roses was 312 total dollars. So you take your total cost, 312, you divide by your total amount of roses that you purchased, 72, and it was $4.33 per rose. Now you're going to calculate the dollar amount of the discount. So the discount was 13%. So you're going to take 13% times 312. So 0.13 times 312, and you saved $40.56. So 13% savings is equivalent to $40.56. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher for clarification, but here's how to do all the steps. Thank you.